Good morning! I'm in the hotel, it's 4.45 and um, I have this really nice breakfast. So happy to have breakfast before going to the simulator. I'm fully prepared so we'll be fine and um, it's just a little bit early. So I am on my way back to the airport. I actually am uh, now underneath the departure route of, um, I don't know even which runway, but basically the airport is here. So it's quite cool because I just saw two aircraft taking off. However, I was of course too late to either film it or take a picture. So I decided to stay here and wait for the next one. In the meantime, I will take, I will tell you a little bit about the simulator. It went really well. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Um, so the simulator, it went uh, really well. It had all the normal things. Well, of course, not normal to do in the real plane, but. For the simulator it was quite normal to do an engine failure, an engine fire, um, a TICA, so the traffic collision avoidance system, a wind shear, and um, the other things were interesting maneuvers and certain system failures that um, we had to apply all the proper procedures using the QRH, the quick reference handbook. and. Um, yeah, it was a really interesting session and it's most important to remain calm and communicate well with your crew member because in the end, together you can do so much more than alone. Um, so yeah, that was it about the, um, about the simulator. Um, I also wanted to tell you something about airport delays because um, someone in my last video, someone asked about it. But that I will do later. First, I will... Wait for another plane. How cool is this? These are the approach lights. It's so cool. Never got to do that before. So about flight delays, it, flight delays can be so so annoying for the passengers um, and especially if there is not much communication. Um, we also sometimes have uh, delays and um, basically what we try is to always keep clear communication via the uh, gate staff to the uh, passengers. So as soon as we know something we will let them know. If it's a delay caused by a technical issue, we don't always know how much time it's going to take for the maintenance to fix it or to wait for another plane. Um, just know that if there is a delay, it would basically be, uh, if it, there is a delay due to technical reasons, just remember that um, we also want to get home as soon as possible to be with our families and friends. And um, making this delay due to a technical issue would just be um, because the plane is not fit to fly. If the plane is not fit to fly, we are not going to risk it because it's always safety first and then punctuality. So I hope that if you take this into account, it will be easier to cope with the waiting and um, that's all I can say about it. This is flight 193. All right. This time I would like to invite all of the remaining customers to come out. Forward. I believe boarding Please is be starting now. Not speed with customers, you only entitle one piece of cabin bus. So I'm going to start boarding now and I will start editing uh, this video in the flight. Um, in the meantime, I will give you some um, travel hacks on how to survive with a long delay in the airport. I hope you like it. I recorded it in different airports. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week on Wednesday. So I got some airport survival hacks for you. 
Um, one is the toilets. You know how these toilets are always in the airport because it's used by so many people, it could be really like disgusting. Um, so what I always do is I go to the toilet that is the farthest away from everything and then you end up with like no other people. toilets in the airport have to be clean every certain interval the ones that are used the least are also the cleanest I wanted to give you another uh, traveling or airport delay hack um, always bring some food for yourself because food and drinks are so expensive in the airport so what I usually do is bring some food I today have carrots with me if you have to buy food i would recommend to go to the to the franchises even if it's mcdonald's okay maybe it's not so healthy um, but at least uh, the prices are the same in the airport and outside the airport other shops they may ask huge amounts for the same cup of coffee but just because they're in the airport they cost so much more um, so yeah that's what i usually do i have now a coffee from pre à manger or I don't know how to pronounce it, but really this would be for me like a travel hack or how to survive on the airport. Another trick is that I always bring a book or something like a puzzle to, to pass the time and if I don't have any I will buy something just because the time goes so much faster if you have something to do. <laughs> Usually in every airport you find some easy relaxing chairs. You just have to try and find them, but if you have enough delay, you have all the time to find them. They can be more luxurious than others, really depending on the airport, but this is what I got. Not bad. I forgot to say one thing, please if you like my videos put the thumbs up and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much, it means a lot to me, thank you.